Alright guys, so as the title of this video said, this is going to be uh, a video of my demo lesson that I did back in December where all the teachers from around the city and even from my school and some of the Board of Education people came to watch, kind of judge and critique how I'm doing. And uh, in this lesson, um, you know, you can kind of see how the classes are in Japan, how, what my classroom's like anyways, but uh, you know, the English level differs from class to class. I mean, yeah, even from class to class, but de definitely from school to school. So um, while these kids can understand the English that I'm using at the other schools, they definitely wouldn't. And uh, but anyways, so one interesting thing to note, though, is that a lot of people, when they're doing their demo lessons, they're doing English lessons, you know. This lesson, however, is a math lesson in English. So uh, my school really wanted me to do that because they know I can teach math and they wanted to see how we do a more discovery-based, student-centered teaching style as opposed to their typical lecture fall asleep style. So anyways, enjoy the video clips and uh, yeah. Do you guys remember what a quadratic function is? Who wants to tell me? Let me uh, call on a name here. Alright, ready? Shibuya you. Shibuya you. What is a quadratic function? Okay, right, right. So look, he just drew the shape. Can you just draw that shape again? Draw it again? Right, like this? Hey, okay, yeah. So, the word quadratic function is, you know, an easy constant. What is the easiest function for a linear function? Yeah, something equals something. The easiest one. A equal B X equal B X. F of X equals X. Let's check it out. Oh, perfect! Good job. Yay. So the basics of all, the parent function. Can somebody tell me some points? What? When when X is zero, what is Y on the parent function right here? When X is zero, what is Y? Anyone want to shout out the answer? So when x is 0, what is y? Say it louder. 0. 0, nice. There we go. So 0 and 0. Okay, what about when x is 1? What is y? Just shout out the answer, guys. Come on. When x is 1, what is y? Is it louder? 1. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so 1, 1. What about negative 1? x is negative 1, what is y? 1, there we go, nice. Negative 1, 1. Okay, so what did you notice between this new function and the parent function? What was the same? What are some similarities? Anyone want to tell me the similarities? Right there? The shape, the shape's the same, again? Alright, so the shape. Alright, and what is different? What was different about this one? <coughs> Volunteers? Volunteers, guys? You what know how to answer, right? Uh, what did it? Look at number one. The position moves up three units. So what happened to this one? Positioning. 
down three units. Right, okay. Very good. Perfect, nice. So round and talk a little bit. Okay guys, now real quick. Alright guys, so as you can see, that was my lesson, my demo lesson back then that I said I was going to upload and I didn't, so I'm doing it now. Um, today's actually January the 16th, so I'm gonna, this video is kind of out of order, but I wanted to upload the demo lesson, because some of you guys wanted to see it, but anyways, yeah, so you can see, like, the kids are super shy and they're very quiet, like, I always have to use the cars and call in the kids because, um... I'm like having trouble looking at the, uh, the camera. I've never used my computer camera before. But anyways, um, the kids like super shy. They never want to volunteer. Even if they know the answer and stuff, they just don't want to volunteer. They're always like looking down at the desk. Like, uh, uh, uh. So in that class, I just started taking the roll card and calling on the names because they really like that. <laughs> they think it's funny when I say their names. So it's pretty good. I mean, it's not, like you're not always going to get volunteers. Like in American classrooms when I taught in high school, when I taught high school math class, you know, kids are pretty quick to answer, and there's quite at least a few kids who want to answer. But in Japanese classrooms, even the smart ones, oh, everyone's pretty smart. They're not gonna, they're not, they don't want, they don't have the confidence to raise their hand and answer, even though they know the answer, which is kind of sucks. But you know, that's how it is. And um, you know, and this school is like a higher level school, kind of, so they can understand my English when I'm talking like that. But the other schools, it's very like low level English and it's and there has to be a lot of translating done or whatever so I mean when you're in jet program it really differentiates from school to school some schools the kids will be able to pick up your English no problem other schools they're gonna have no idea what you're saying and almost tune out if you don't make dumb it down for them so it's pretty much how my uh, lesson went you know the teachers really liked it they liked how it was like a discovery based lesson. It, I wasn't just like lecturing them like, do this, do this, this is what happens when you do this, this is what happens when you do this. It's very, very, the kids have to do something and figure out, you know, what, uh, I guess, how, well like they have to figure out the rules and things themselves, kind of, you know, come up with ideas. Because, you know, in the Japanese classroom, in the math classes, they just, every class really, they just stand on the chalkboard and blah, 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 write this down and the kids are like, not enough. Yeah, so that's pretty much that's the demo lesson, guys. So hopefully, you know, you got something from that. You know, you enjoyed it or whatever. And uh, that was one of the few times, honestly, that I dressed up. I I don't really dress up. I just wear I just wear my my track suit. But yeah, guys. So that's it for this video. I just want to show you part of my demo lesson. There it is. So peace out. See you guys later.